select the major product or product or products of the following reaction. So to answer this problem, we need to first decide what type of reaction is occurring. So we need to examine what is our starting material and what are we reacting it with. Um, so if we take a look at our starting material, we have an alkyl halide, and specifically that halogen is on a tertiary carbon, so this is a tertiary alkyl halide. And so when we have alkyl halides, the halogens are good leaving groups, so we're looking at the possibility of a substitution or an elimination pathway. Then we're going to look at what we're reacting this with, and we're reacting with just methanol. And so methanol is probably the solvent in this reaction as well. Um, methanol, like water, is a weak base and a weak nucleophile. So the first thing I would do is look at this tertiary alkyl halide. We mentioned substitution and elimination. So with a tertiary alkyl halide, the possible pathways are, if we have a substitution, it would be an SN1 substitution. Um, a tertiary alkyl halide is capable of forming a stable carbocation, and it's also too crowded to undergo the concerted SN2 pathway. Um, if this was to be an elimination, tertiary alkyl halides can undergo either E1 or E2 elimination. Um, so we need to decide what's happening here. So that we've got a few pathways that are possible. We want to look at what we're reacting it with. So we see that we're reacting this with a really weak base and a weak nucleophile. Um, and we're also not heating this up. So a stronger base and some heat would push it towards an elimination pathway. Um, where this is a weak base, a weak nucleophile, it doesn't appear that we're heating this up. This looks like an SN1 pathway. So that should lead to our major product. Um, so we want to just quickly draw the SN1 mechanism. Um, so we've got our tertiary alkyl halide. Let me just redraw that here. It is chiral. So this is a chiral center. We're going to want to pay attention to that. Um, we can see there's chirality involved in a few of these options. So what happens in an SM1 reaction is in the first step, your leaving group just leaves. Um, so this is an ionization to give you a carbocation. Um, so we actually lose the chirality in this first step. Um, because you start with a tetrahedral carbon, and as soon as this leaves and you get a carbocation, it flattens that out because that is an sp2 and trigonal planar carbon. So then when your nucleophile attacks, which is going to be the methanol, it can approach from either side. Um, so you can draw the methanol. And I think we mentioned that the methanol is also the solvent here. This is a reaction that we call a solvolysis reaction one where the solvent is involved in the reaction. Um, so this methanol is going to add to that carbocation, and it can approach from either side. This is going to approach really with equal likelihood from either the front of the plane or behind the pain plane from either side. So this, this leads to the characteristic racemization that we see with SM1 reactions. Um, so let's take a look at what we formed here. So we have attached the oxygen of the methanol. Of course, the hydrogen and the methyl group are still with the methanol. We haven't broken them off yet. Um, so we have what looks like a protonated methyl ether. And then finally, to get to the product, we want to get rid of this positive charge. Um, so we need to remove a hydrogen, right? a last acid base step. Um, so if you're ever at this point and you're wondering, is it the hydrogen that's going to leave or is it going to be the carbon group? You're always removing the protons. You all, make sure you always take the hydrogen off. Okay, so we'll have another equivalent of methanol. We have a lot of it around. We said it's also the solvent. And so this can remove that hydrogen and break the bond. And then here's where we want to recognize, we said this can approach from either side. So although we, we haven't drawn both, this is a chiral center, and we're going to say that this is racemic, right? So approximately a 50-50 mixture of that methanol having approached from the front of the plane and behind the plane, which matches D.